Hello everyone, Savage Spirits here, and I am here to show you how to make a transition with audio for your stream. And to really get through this video, I'm just going to make it real quick and try to get to the point so that you guys can go out there and make your transitions as fast as possible and get you started on that. All right, so it's going to look something like this. So let's get started. All right. All right, so starting off on um, DaVinci, we're going to have our empty project. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to have your assets on what you're really going to be using. So here you see that I have my picture, my logo that I'm going to be using. This is a .png. You want to use a PNG if you're going to be using anything with alpha. This has an alpha already in it. So all this black on the outside of it actually is all just an alpha channel. So you're going to see the transparency through it. So we're just going to drag this into this the video down here. Oop, drag it down here. This will be a little bit bigger than we really need it, but we're going to do a transition of about, let's say about, about three seconds. Three second transition. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take this file and we're going to right click on it and we're going to do a new compound clip. You don't have to change the name or anything right now. Just do create new. And what this is going to do is going to help us to create a transitions with this this picture and now it makes it a clip where when you go over here if you look it'll actually fill in and give this the right resolution if you don't make it into a compound clip what happens is it'll just use the resolution of the picture itself which is 2000 by 2000 and that's what we're looking for right now we're trying to make it so that it sees the viewing point of all the video so here now we have our we're in the um, fusion tab and we're going to take this and this is where we're going to do all of our animations and everything. So we're going to get this, we're going to take this transform, we're going to drag it over and you'll see it'll get intuitive and it'll um, lock in. And here is where we can see now exactly how we want to change this. So right now we're working with about, what, 72 frames. So half of 72, 36, this is our midpoint. So starting at the center point of 36 frames for our video, you can see that this is the center point. And you want to find the center point to see where your logo or your picture is gonna take up the complete screen so you don't see when it switches um, the scenes in the background. So here, that's our center point. So we're just gonna keep that in mind. Um, first, what we're going to do is we're actually going to adjust our pivot point because you want what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus my transition on my glasses here on my logo. So with that, I don't I'm going to have it my logo circle or rotate while coming up and in, in and out. So we're going to change the pivot point here so that it is centered onto that right there that when I do any kind of rotations, it's rotating right there at that point. And now we're gonna start doing the transition starting at our very first beginning, the zero frame. We're gonna activate our keyframes for our size and our center because you can already tell that this is a bit lower so it's not gonna be centered. So we're gonna have to adjust the center point. As we do that, we're gonna go over here to the 36th frame, halfway point, Bring it all the way down first. Beginning zero. Go to a halfway point. Bring it up to a size where we want it. Cover up the whole screen. So, I'll be about right there. But still not where exactly where I want it. So that's when we also adjust the center point. Boom, right there. Then to finish it off, we need to make it go back to normal. So, size back to zero at the very end. And then for center, back to 0.5, centered. So that when we play this now, boom, boom, in and out, in and out. Perfect. 
exactly how we kind of wanted to do it. We'll make some small tweaks in just a second, but that's pretty much the gist of how we're trying to make our transformed transition from zero to full screen. And then we're going to add a little twist to it. So with that, go to the very beginning now, we're going to change the angle. The angle here will make it rotate for you. So it'll make give it a little spin. And we're going to start it off back, let's say, well, we can do about four spins. So let's do two from each side, negative 720 here. And then when we go to this side, we're just going to do that to a positive 720. Make it nice and easy. Let's see. Let's see how that net looks like now. Boom! Look at that spin. Not bad. So, when it gets to this mid mark, it should hit zero on the angle, which is kind of close, but it's not entirely there. So let's make it zero. So that's centered, and that will also help us with this next part. So now that we got the animation portion of it of kind of how we're wanting to see oh, see what it's going to be doing with our zoom in spinning let's make it so it's a little bit smoother and let's make it actually stop at that center point so you can actually see the glasses for a second and everything so we're going to go over here to the spleen and this will help frames. Spleen. We're going to check out everything that's over here. So this is the transform. This will give you everything that you can see that's going on with our um, our, our changes to our keyframe with our keyframe movement. So we have the center, size, and the angle, the placement. Um, with all of these, if you hit up here, this will help zoom to fit so you can see everything. It's, zo it's zoomed out super far. but. This will make it so you can adjust to seeing it. Then we're going to select all these points. And if you hit F on your um, keyboard, it'll flatten some of these out. And it'll give you some smooth transitions rather than having it very sharp. And so then when you play through it, see, boom, there you go. It makes it a little bit smoother for you. It's rendering there. nice huh and then you can adjust it so if you want to linger out farther on the, the ends there pull it out a little bit more and it'll and you can pull it out even farther even if you want so say you want a good long stop there so that's the center point actually this is the part where it's going to linger pull those out and that should make it so it slows it down boom 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 we got the wrong color, sorry about that. You can see this one was slowing down the spin a little bit. Pretty nice, huh? There you go. So now that we got our animation set, come back over here, we can check it out over here on this side. Um, to help um, render this a little bit, you can do the render cache. I usually just click this every time I'm doing something. So I can Boom. Now it's rendered. Doesn't look too bad. All right, let's get our audio over here now. This is our audio. And with our audio, what we want is we want to really line it up so that we can figure out exactly when we want the peak of our sound to be hitting the middle of our seat. So we'll make the adjustment, which sounds good here, I think. So actually, I think that's pretty good right there. And now that we have it all together, that's pretty much what our transition is gonna look like. It's so, that's how you do 
kind of make create your own transition into um, for your stream. But now we really have to figure out how to export it. So now exporting it can be a little bit more trickier. And, and there are a few steps you have to make sure that you take care of with it being um, rendered. Because if you don't do this right, then what happens is you, you all have missing audio or your alpha channel is not going out there. All right, so next, what you're gonna do is you select these clips together, right click, and then you're gonna go up to new compound clip. We're gonna do that again. What this does, it's gonna combine these two clips together. So now that they're linked and these, this audio is associated with this clip. Um, for the longest time I tried doing this and I had the issue of uh, trying to figure out why the audio wasn't being exported, but this is why. So this makes it so that when we render it, you'll, and you'll see in just a second why for the audio to be exported. So over in the render page, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our format is in QuickTime. And then we're going to actually go to codec for GoPro Cineform. And then we're going to change it to RGB 16 bit. And this should make it so that we can export an alpha. So make sure that checkbox is, is uh, marked. If you don't see that checkbox, make sure that you're sitting on the individual clips up here at the top of the render. So we're going to export the video. Make sure your export audio is set up. You're going to make sure your file name is what you want it to be and with the location where it's going to go. And once you do that, you're just going to add to the render queue and then start your render. And then you should be able to create that. All right, so let's go over to Streamlabs. Go over to Streamlabs. You're going to click this little edit scene transitions. And you're going to create a new transition. New transition, this is fine. You can keep the name there. But what you're going to do is it's going to be a stinger transition. And this is where you get to choose your file for your transitions and everything. And once you do that, I'll show you what it looks like. I have mine already set up here for you. And we'll do it this way. See. So you... It goes over. Do a close up or anything. You do a transition over. And there you go. And that's what it looks like. And so that's how you do your transitions. So thank you though so much for watching. Thank you for um, taking the time. Hope this helped. Um, if you have any other questions on streaming or just starting up, please feel free to ask. I am totally open and trying to help. There's a whole bunch of resources out there though uh, for a whole bunch of different people doing videos and things like that. So don't be afraid to go searching for those videos as well. I know of a whole couple of different YouTube YouTubers that um, do some amazing work, but um, and, until then, stay savage and keep that spirit up. All right, have a good one.